Malam inikami menchoba makanan jalanan di kota Surabaya. Welcome back to another video guys. Tonight we're going to be trying street food in Surabaya city and uh, we're at a night bazaar or pasar malam or whatever you want to call it right here in the center of Surabaya city and we are ready to try some food and I think we're going to kick things off with an iced tea. Yeah, there's no pasam, pasar malam without an iced tea and I just found a stand that looks very promising so I'm just going to get one immediately. <laughs> Conveniently, they only had the large and more expensive size, but that's fine. I'm just gonna drink more iced tea. I'm quite happy with that actually. And the original one, perfect. It's one of those jasmine uh, tea type of brews. It's very nice, not too sweet as well. Yeah, guys, welcome to the Pasar Malam. Uh, this is a place that we saw basically on Google and we decided to come here and it looks like it's very busy already now Right now it's only 7 p.m. So it's only gonna start getting busy because 7 p.m. is relatively early This is gonna go on I think well into the night or at least up until maybe 10 p.m. Or so and in the next few hours it will get slowly busier and busier online By the way, it said that this market is open all the way until midnight. So um Maybe you can tell us in the comments as well if it's actually open for that long because that would definitely explain why there's not that many people here right now even though it's slowly filling up. Uh, Surabaya is one of those really hot cities where it sort of only gets busy um, when the sun sets and then really like one or two hours after it sets but you can already see there's quite a bit of people ahead once again. So as you can see, there's a lot of people already and I think it's only go uh, about to get busier. Oh, these little satay thingies look really nice actually. No? Oh, yeah. They look good. They have a wide, like an insane amount of selection of different things to choose from here. So no matter what it is that you're thinking, like they literally have Japanese pancakes. They have hamburgers, hot dogs, everything that you can think of, even like desserts and stuff like that. So we're gonna do like maybe a couple of laps around and see what they have talk to a few people and then start eating. <laughs> yeah, this market is actually so big and it has so much choice that it might be like, it's a little overwhelming for me to be honest because there's just so much and I'm usually the type of person I want to get like a good overview of what is available before I decide on what to get. Oh, those crabs, those crabs look heavenly. Anyway, um, I like to have an overview of what there is before I decide on what I'm eating, but I think that's not going to even be possible here. It's 10,000 for a serving of mushrooms. Yeah. You want to get one? Yeah, Satu Porsi. Yeah, Satu Porsi. Um, yeah, more crispy. Oh, which case do you want? Uh, barbecue? Or I, don't, I didn't understand the other one. Yeah, barbecue, yeah. Barbecue, yeah. Okay. Barbecue, yeah. Mayonnaise? Oh, tidak, tidak, mayonnaise. Chili, tomat, sauce. I feel like we're just taking the options that we understand. <laughs> yeah, the safe ones. The safe ones. Look at how... Oh yeah, it's getting really grim. Yeah, it's very, very busy in here already. It's really crazy. Like... How does she survive Hectic. with that hot oil? I feel, I'm feeling so hot already. Yeah. <laughs> we walked past these mushrooms here and uh, we just could not resist to stop by, especially at 10,000 for, for the price. It's really good. Really good. What a great way to kickstart off this food adventure here. 10,000 is like what, 70 cents? 60 70 cents, cents, yeah. And it's a big uh, portion as well. Makasi. Beautiful. It's I cannot believe that we really ordered in Indonesian. Yeah, <laughs> we entirely in Indonesian. Very surprised at ourselves. Yeah, usually we are getting stuck somewhere because we don't understand the options or we don't understand what is happening. Oh, look at this. She put like a powder on it, I believe that's the um, tomato powder and then uh, barbecue sauce. Mm. Oh yeah, no, 
It's actually barbecue powder and tomato sauce. That way, <laughs> not the other way around. So really guys, you wanna give it a try? Yeah, 100%, let's do it. Turn you guys around, let's do it. Ah. Oh. Mm. We scored a jackpot. Wow, well, we got a fry. <laughs> we got an accidental fry as well. Mm. Nice one. Those are really tasty. 10,000 rupiah. You cannot go wrong. <laughs> I wanted to give him more. <laughs> I don't know um, what type of a mushroom it is, other than that it's a tasty one. Um, yamur really good. enak. Jamur enak. Mm. Incredible. Very nice. Not Ooh. bad at all. <laughs> So light, so crispy. The batter and the oil that she used is definitely not old as well. Really good. 10,000 rupiah. It's insane. And these types of markets are our favorite, always our favorite. This is why we love local life in Indonesia. I'm super happy with the mushrooms. <laughs> mm. Hey guys, this Pasar Malam is not just food. You can buy pretty much anything else that comes to your imagination here. And I'm talking t-shirts, shoes, perfume, pretty much anything else. Alongside the amazing food, you have an expansive other market here that runs alongside where the food is. And uh, Naomi was just looking at some of the perfume and incredibly reasonably priced. Um, I've no idea about the quality of it, I've no idea about the different things such as that, but the price looks incredible. Sorry, I'm eating behind the camera. Um, they actually have all of the brand names um, on the front of the bottle, like Gucci Extreme or Marlboro Sport and all of these things. And you can get like a 4ml little spray bottle for 5,000 Indonesian rupiah now. I'm pretty sure it's not, obviously it's not the original, but uh, as long as it smells a little bit like it, for 5,000 rupiah, you can't really go wrong, I think. Yeah, exactly. You have things like children's clothes here, baby clothing. Let's go for a walk through this part of the market, see what we can find. So this is basically the selection of perfumes here. It's absolutely massive. So you have all of the different types of scents and notes and different things. And then you, I think you can basically like make your own and you put it in, they put it into a spray bottle for example for no. you no i think they're all just like a brand perfume oh okay if you if you read the individual labels it's like davidoff it's um i don't know gucci and <laughs> david back Be back Be Bechem, not beckham Bechem, <laughs> and uh, so on so if there was actually just essential oils like a lotus flower or patchouli or whatever i would actually i would buy something immediately but i don't really know what these um label perfumes smell like or if I actually like them so I would have to smell all of them to actually figure out which one I would want so yeah guys this is basically what to expect we have been walking now literally in a straight line for around five minutes and we've come across clothes after clothes after clothes so you have jeans jackets jerseys phone cases phone covers t-shirts everything literally everything in one place all right next to incredible tasting food so yeah. this is a great place to come and spend some time that's for sure i think it's like three lanes of just uh street food and then you have like five additional lanes of anything that you might need really from uh it accessories sort of hardware and um, earphone ear earphones and uh phones i don't know clothing everything really everything perfume everything that you can think of you can find it here I think the plan for us right now is we're going to try and find some more food and yeah really just dive deep into this market this lovely guy seems to be selling some cruffles for only 7k so let's give it a try which one do you want chocolate strawberry tiramisu green tea vanilla oh my god i think i want a tiramisu tiramisu yeah okay uh cruffle tiramisu satu silahe. satu It's 
like a like a waffle maker. Yeah, it's like one of these like, small. It's like a croissant, but made in a waffle maker. <laughs> That's pretty much pretty much oh, what it is, I think. Now I get it. Croffle. Ah, okay. <laughs> croissant, waffle, croffle. Croffle, waffle. 7K is good as well. Thank you. Bye bye. Lovely. I have the goods. <coughs> I would say to just go in. Yeah. Where there's less people walking. <laughs> <laughs> we can try our croffle somewhere away from the chaos. <clears throat> this market is really incredible, guys. Now we have a generator in the back. I don't know. That's all right. <laughs> in terms of audio, you think it's all right? Should be fine. Um, you decided on the tiramisu, so I feel like you should give it a try. Okay, so basically uh, we saw croffles, we wanted something sweet and this looked really good and basically only 7,000 rupiah and you can kind of see why because it is on the smaller side so it is like a little croissant waffle just drizzled over the top with the tir tiramisu flavoured sauce I guess that's the whole reason why that's tiramisu I'm just going to taste the sauce Yes, it tastes just like tiramisu actually, that's really funny and this is obviously really, really hot. So, well, let's give it a try. I'm gonna basically blow on it first because it's literally burning my fingers. But here you go, guys. It looks good. Oh my God. That's incredibly sweet, incredibly hot. I'm burning the root, the roof of, a roof of my mouth is burning off right now. Very, very tasty though. And for 7,000 rupiah, that's insane. Like, such good value. You can literally come here with maybe $10 and spend as much as you want and you will be full to your heart's content. This is fantastic. Mantap. After Luke said all of these lovely things about this croffle, of course, I couldn't pass it up and also have to try it. I'm so scared because Luke said it's very hot, so I don't know. But... Oh! It's really crunchy. Yep. Mm, I think it has like a um, sugar coating and because of the heat it got like a little bit like a creme brulee type of top situation. Mm. This is really lovely. I think I'm gonna eat the rest and Luke is not gonna <laughs> see anything of this. This is very good. I still have my iced tea and uh, mushrooms as well. I think when we go home tonight we're just gonna have a feast while watching some movies or something like that. That's why we love the market videos. We always just get a lot of different things and then we go home and then we slowly eat them. That's very nice. Yeah, the food here in this market is absolutely top notch actually. And all of it is very reasonably priced. We haven't come across a stand where we have thought, oh, this might be a little bit expensive or anything like that. It's just not been the case at all so far. Everything that we've seen is very reasonably priced and looks incredibly good, uh, tasty as well. Bracelet vibes. Hmm? The last time we were in Sura, I think it was in Surabaya, the last time when I gave away all of my bracelets, I need to fill up my arms again, so. Yeah. Maybe at some stage. <laughs> Yeah, two of them. <laughs> so we just ordered um, Japanese pancakes. They're like souffle type of pancakes. I don't know if you've seen them before, maybe on social media. These really thick, fluffy ones, bouncy. And um, we, we saw that they were quite busy, so that's why we went there. But they're actually extra busy. Um, when we ordered and paid, they said we have to wait 20 minutes, so we're just gonna stand on the side there waiting for our pancakes to be ready um, but they're going to be super fresh probably still warm and uh, we ordered the pancakes with white chocolate so yeah I cannot wait <laughs> this market certainly seems to be the heart and soul of Surabaya there's so much going on 
and uh, we are still waiting for our Japanese pancakes. Just kind of standing off to the side, taking it all in, watching the people walking and passing the spy. It's crazy how busy this place is and uh, definitely worth your time if you are visiting Surabaya. Let's see if we get these Japanese pancakes soon. <laughs> I just want my pancakes. Nice. <laughs> White chocolate for the white chocolate, right? <laughs> Trying to get one of the spoons out. As you can see, the consistency of the pancakes are as much souffle as, uh, as it promises. I cannot stop doing this. I feel like I'm dancing the cha-cha out here. Oh my god. I smushed it and it immediately lost all of the volume. <laughs> okay. Let's try this one. Oh, it looks very sweet. <laughs> this is perfection. Yeah. Oh my god. It's so good. Wait a second. I'm trying to get a little bit off. Let's give it a try here. Whoa. The chocolate taste is really, really good. I cannot believe the, the price of this. We got two for 20,000, no? Two for 20,000, so a little over a euro for both of them, or 50 cent each. That's crazy. We literally only brought with us... How are you? How are you? I'm good. I am good. You? Fine. Nice. <laughs> Hello. Where are you from? German, uh, Irlandia, then German. Where are you from? Yeah. Mix. Mix. Yeah. Right. Amazing. Oh, what I was saying, guys, we literally came to this market with roughly around ten dollars. Hundred sixty oh Indonesian God. rupiah, I think. Yeah. Yeah. A little under ten euro. And we have had a really hard time trying to spend it. I think we've only spent around sixty so far. 60, 70,000 rupiah. We've had three different dishes. We've been here for like around an hour or two hours now. It's really, really hard to spend money here in Surabaya. Yeah, we roughly spend around 50,000 so far. 50. Yeah, and we're pro both pretty full, so we're both sa satiated for the rest of the day, to be honest. It's already kind of late ish. So, uh, yeah, we could just go home and go to bed and be totally fine with it. We have another one of these. I feel my diabetes kicking in. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> okay, so we just made our way back to our hotel and we just wanted to quickly share a little bit of information with you guys because <laughs> we're very, very shocked. And I think this is probably going to be the title of this video, but it's crazy how <laughs> little money we just spent after being in a night market for like three and a half hours. Yeah, we just did the maths quickly in the back of our grab car and we actually just spent a total of 42,000 Indonesian rupiah, which is like three euro. And uh, we're both like satiated enough, I want to say. We don't really need any more food for tonight. And it's just so funny because the when we went out to the market, we actually, I think we said it earlier, we brought something like 10 euro, like 170,000, 160,000, something like that. And I was sure it wasn't gonna last. Like yeah. I was looking for an ATM the second we arrived. <laughs> yeah, we literally were walking around the market being like, we need to find an ATM because we want to have like a decent amount of things and try some nice food. And it turned out that we didn't even need like 50% of the money that we brought with us. <laughs> so that's really crazy. And uh, yeah, guys, check out that specific Pasar Malam. I can't think of the name of it, but we will drop it in the pinned comment of this video. It is a really amazing place. There's plenty going on. Um, incredibly lively as well. This is um, a Thursday night and yeah. it was packed crazy. So many people. There yeah. was like barely any space for the scooters when we just left and uh, yep. so, so many people. But um, yeah, now it's like what, quarter to nine, I yep. think. And uh, we still have to pack our stuff because tomorrow we're going further east. 
Further east, yeah. Easter into Easter Java. East Java. <laughs> Easter into Easter. Easter into Easter Java. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, new city, new place, new vibes. Everything's new and uh, couldn't be more excited to be back here in Java. If you can guess which city it is, mm -hmm. drop it down below in the comments. But for now, my name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We are the two Mad Explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. See you guys in the next Java adventure. Terima kasih banyak for watching. Terima kasih. Bye bye. bye, -bye.